So we have 10 minus 5. And this is the wrong way to do it. Where we take 0 minus 5 and we write 5. Once again, this is wrong. We do not do it this way, but I'm still going to show you the wrong way so I could prove a point later on. Next thing you do is you take 1 minus nothing will be 1. And so we have an answer of 15. Now, why is this a problem? The reason this is a problem because we have 10 minus 5 and 15 is bigger than 10. So in, we try to subtract. Instead, we have an addition problem. But if we take 10 little smiley faces and we subtract 5 of them, our answer will be 5. So let's get back to 10 minus 5 and do it correctly so we could get a correct answer. So what we will have to do is we will have to borrow. And we cannot subtract a smaller number, the 0 from a 5. So we have to borrow from our neighbor. So the 0 goes, hey, Mr. 1, can I borrow a 1? And 1 will always answer, sure, you could borrow a 1. So the 1 becomes a 0, and the 0 becomes a 10. And now we take 10 minus 5, do it in your head, the answer will be 5. I know this is a bit confusing, but let's do another example. So here we have 12 minus 5. Once again, you cannot subtract a smaller number from a bigger number. 2 is smaller than a 5 and we will have to borrow if we have 12 smiley faces and we take away 5 the answer will be 7 however we cannot go through life always drawing smiley faces or ripping up pieces of paper so we have to do this mechanically on scrap pieces of paper so we will have to borrow the two goes to his neighbor and says hey mr one can i borrow a one and one will answer sure you could borrow a one so the one becomes a zero and the two becomes a 12. and now here's a little trick that we, instead of taking 12 minus 5 what we do is we take 10 minus 5 the answer will be 5 then we add the 2 and 5 plus 2 will be 7 so 12 minus 5 will be 7